rational numbers, absolute values of rational numbers. Let's just go through this. Kevin loves being at his summer cabin. At his home, it is 10, negative 10 degrees. He travels to his cabin to find it is negative 7 degrees. What integer represents the change in temperature Kevin experienced? Okay, so it's he started off at negative 10, and he went to negative 7, right? So the change, if I go from 5 to 8, I do 8 minus 5, right? I do the later number minus the earlier number. So I'm going to do negative 7 minus negative 10. Later number minus earlier number, right? If I, if I went from five, year old, 5 years old to 10 years old, I do 10 minus 5. If I went from negative 10 to negative 7, I do negative 7 minus negative 10. That makes this a plus plus. That gives me a 3. So Zoe went from negative 9. Ah, no, see, they're tricking us. Ethan has 10 degrees. Zoe has negative 9. Ethan goes from... Him, him, where he lives, to Zoe, right? So then what temperature change would he experience? So he's going from 10 to negative 9, right? So it should be negative 9 minus 10 or negative 19. In other words, the temperature drops 19 degrees for him, right? That makes sense. It is 10. It goes to negative 9. They're both really cold. It drops 19 degrees. You would say Ethan's temperature drops. You wouldn't say it goes up. Okay, so he ran for six yards at the beginning. And at the end of the game, the stats for the season say Nick has run for one yard. How many yards did Nick run in the game? Okay. So at the end of the season, right, he ran for six yards. And at the end of the game, that game, he ran for one yard. Okay. I mean, I, I know the answer is going to be five, I think, but I just want to make sure I'm, I'm reading this correctly. So at the start of the football game, there's a football game. Nick has run six yards on the season. Okay, so at the start of the football game, he's run six yards. At the end of the game, he's run one yard. Okay, this just doesn't make sense. I mean, the answer is going to be, it follows the same pattern, which is one minus six or negative five. So let's just think about this as a math formula, but this is a lesson that we can't just blindly use math, right? If he goes from six yards at the beginning of the game to one yard at the end of the game, that means he lost five yards during the game. I don't think you can do that in football. I don't think you can. Can you get? It's a good question. Can you get like sacked or something and lose yards? I don't know. Anyway. It's one minus six or negative five, but we're not gonna hurt our brains trying to make sense of that. Okay, Olivia likes to keep her house at consistent temperature and is upset to find a change when moving from upstairs to downstairs. If the temperature downstairs is negative three degrees and the temperature upstairs is seven degrees, then what integer represents the temperature change that Olivia experienced? Okay, so where does she go? Where does she start? Where does she go? Um, she moves from upstairs to downstairs. So she moves from 7 to negative 3. And is upset to find a change. Yeah, it gets cold when she moves downstairs. She starts up kind of warm at 7. By warm, I mean freezing. And then she goes down to negative 3. Right, so it's 7 minus negative. Nope. Yeah, it's negative three right it's final minus original negative three minus seven which is negative ten she drops ten degrees in temperature 
Braden loves being at a summer cabin. It, at his home, it is negative six degrees. He travels to his cabin to find it is negative five degrees. So he goes from negative six to negative five. What integer represents the change in temperature? So we do final minus original or one. It, he moves up a degree. He gains one degree. He goes from super freezing to slightly less super freezing. So one. It's interesting why all the temperatures here are cold. Um, Darren, the scientist, is tracking the daily temperature changes for his study on parakeet migration. He, he records negative two degrees in the morning and three degrees in the evening. What is the total temperature change for that day? So he goes from negative two to three. So it's three minus negative two, final minus original. So that's three plus two or five. The historical temperature for today of Nathan's hometown is negative 10 degrees. But it is currently negative two degrees. What is the change between the historical temperature and the current temperature? Okay, so it's going from negative 10 to negative two. So it's gonna be negative 10 minus, sorry, negative two minus negative 10, which will give us positive eight. Daniel, the scientist, is tracking daily temperature changes for a study on parakeet migration. He records negative six degrees in the morning and negative three degrees in the, in the evening. What is the total temperature change? So final, negative three minus negative six which is three. And then you can just ask yourself, did it go up or down in temperature? And it went up, right? So it's positive three. The historical temperature for today of Isabella's hometown is eight degrees, but it is currently negative one degree. It goes from eight to negative one. What is the change between historical and current? So negative one minus eight equals negative nine. Again, the wording of this question is weird, but we, we, we know what they're going for. It's fine. Negative one minus eight is negative nine. So it's this. It's just, you say, where am I going to where am I going? So, and then I just do current minus former, All right? So negative one minus eight is negative nine. Matthew likes to keep his house at consistent temperature and is upset to find a change in moving from upstairs to downstairs. If the temperature downstairs is one degree and the temperature upstairs is three degrees. See, this is I, this is like they're trying to be tricky. Upstairs, two downstairs. So three, two, one. Um, if the temperature downstairs is one degree and the temperature upstairs is three degrees, then what integer represents the change? So upstairs, two downstairs. So it's one minus three or negative two. And that checks out, when he goes downstairs, the temperature drops two degrees, right? So it should be negative two. All right. Well, if you're going to a negative two degree place, you should reconsider your decision and you should stay in your warmer place. And on that note, I hope you guys have a great and warm time.